Today we're going to be working on the first homework, which is all about comparison uh, price shopping on plums, um, but not really. Really what it's about is figuring out mean, medians, and modes, and um, variance and standard deviation using both uh, the deviation score formula and the raw score formula. We're going to do it both ways so you can see how it's done. Um, here's our data, and so the first thing we want to do is set up a column of raw scores um, because even though we have them it's easier to put them in column form so let's put this up we got um, 79, 73, 72, 71, uh, 69, 66, 65, 65, 64, and then 463s, um, 61, 60, 59, 58, 56, 46, and 44. Okay, I think that gives us an N of 20. Let me count this really quick. 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right, and so our N is equal to 20. So we know that, um, so if we've accomplished nothing else today, uh, we've done that. Um, let's find the mean. Let's start with that. And so in order to get the mean, we need to get the sum of the raw scores because here we'll put our formula up over here here's our mean the formula is the sum of the raw scores over n and so if we add all these up that's the international sound for addition it comes out to be 1260 1260 over 20 gives us a mean of 63. Uh, we need to also figure out our median. Our median is the middle score and so because these are in order they're mo it's a monotonically increasing um, column here or decreasing I guess depending on the way you look at it. Um, since we have 20 scores, it's going to be the score between the 10th and 11th scores. So we can count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or we can count up. It's going to be between 63 and 63, so our median is going to be 63. Our mode is the most frequently occurring score. We have two 65s, but we have four 63s, and so our mode is going to be equal to 63. So we have the same um, amount for our mean, median, and mode. Uh, they're all going to be equal to 63. Okay, let's use our deviation score formula to find out the um, variance and standard deviation. So we'll put that down over here. Um, so that's what we're going to do next is B. So our variance, is the formula is the sum of the deviation scores squared over n minus 1. And so we're going to need our deviation scores over here. And a deviation score is equal to each raw score minus the mean. And we're also going to need our deviation scores squared. So um, our mean is 63. And so um, uh, 79 minus 63 is 16, and we can just square that right now, too, to 256. Uh, 73 is 10, and so it's going to be 100. 72 is 9, and 81. Uh, 71 is going to be 8, and 64. 69 is going to be 6 and 36. 66 is going to be 3 and 9. 65 is 2 
squared is 4. 64 is 1. 1 squared is equal to 1. 63 is 0. And so 0 over here also. That column's not aligned very well. 61 is 2 below 63, so it's negative 2 squares to 4. 60 is 3 below squares to 9. 59, 4 uh, squares to 16. 58 minus 5 squares to 25. 56 minus 7 squares to 49. 46 is 17 below, that squares to 289, and then 44 is 19 below, and that squares to 361. So we're going to need this number, which is the sum of our deviation scores squared. And so if we add all these up, if we sum them up, we get 1308. Interestingly, too, if we just sum our deviation scores, so if we put that over here, the sum of the deviation scores, and you can try this at home, they always sum to zero. That's why we do deviation scores squared. So 1308, to come back over here, we'll do it out here, 1308 over n minus 1, which is 19, because our n is equal to 20, um, and that's going to give us an answer of 68.84. And then if we want the standard deviation, we just take the root of that. So 68.84 square root of that is equal to be, um, well, it's 8.296. So we'll round it to 8.3. We like to usually take it out to the, to the hundredths place, but um, now that 6 is bothering me. So we'll just round it up. So that's the deviation score formula for variance and standard deviation. Let's do the uh, raw score formula. And so for the raw score formula, we need each score, um, each raw score squared. And so th here's the heavy mathematics here. Um, so um, 79, for example, squares to uh, 6241 and 73 squares to 5329. 72 squared is 5184. Uh, 71 squared is 5041. 69 squared is 4761. Uh, 66 squared is 43.56. 65 squared is 42.25. 64 squared is 40.96. 63 squared is, whoops, 39.69. 39.69. Sixty-one squared is thirty-seven twenty-one. Uh, Sixty squared, that's, that I can do. Uh, that's thirty-six hundred. Look at that, no calculator. Fifty-nine squared is thirty-four eighty-one. Fifty-eight squared, thirty-three sixty-four. 56 squared is 3136. 46 squared is 2116. And 44 squared is 1936. Well, that's so much calculation, my hand is going to cramp up. Okay, to sum all these up, so the sum of our raw squares squared, that works out to be. Uh, 80,000, 
688. So, um, yeah, that's a big number. Okay, so let's use our raw score formula up here. Looks like raw sore, so let's put that uh, C in there a little bit. <laughs> um, so this was our deviation score formula. And this is our raw score. I'm going to erase this. Let's just rewrite it. So this is our raw score formula. Okay. Um, the formula for variance is uh, sum of the raw scores squared minus sum of the raw scores squared divided by n over n minus 1. And so from here it's just really plugging numbers into formulas. Uh, we have uh, sum of the raw scores squared is 80,688 minus, uh, here's our sum of the raw scores, 1260 squared divided by 20 over 20 minus 1, which I think is going to be 19. Uh, if we skip on down, we get 80,688 minus, um, uh, it's over a million, so we'll just we'll just divide this out. We'll skip a step, and it comes out to be seventy nine thousand uh, three eighty over nineteen, and then surprise surprise, it comes out to be thirteen oh eight over nineteen. Where have I seen that before? Hint hint, which is equal to sixty eight point. Four. Um, and then we'll do our um, standard deviation, and that's just going to be 68.84 under a root sign, which again gives us uh, 8.3 again. So what you can see is that you get the same answer whether you use the deviation score formula or the raw score formula. Um, it's not mathematic. It's because the two formulas are algebraically equivalent to each other, um, but you can do the same problem either way. And so that is how you do uh, mean, median, mode, uh, variance, and standard deviation using uh, the deviation and raw score formulas.